Today we're starting something called Viewer's Choice. It is a brand new installment, part of the channel now. It will be on a regular basis. And basically what it is, is when I get a meter from a viewer, it doesn't have to be new, it can be old, vintage, whatever. But hey, when I get something from you guys, I will definitely review it and let you know what I think. This installment of Viewer's Choice, I have a gorgeous little Martindale MM34, courtesy of Derek Todd out in Northern Ireland. Thank you, Derek. And I'm looking forward to reviewing this Martindale ship in this gorgeous little box. Martindale Electric MM34, trusted by professionals. And it also had this nice user manual. Gosh, this thing looks like it was just printed today. Very, very good condition. And uh, if we take a look on the back of the manual that said, uh, registered in England, revision 0, 2002. So I'm going to assume then that this multimeter is circa 2002. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be fun. Now Martindale Electric is actually a UK company. They have been around for a long, long time. Now they're not really a household name here in North America. One of the unique features about this meter is that unique sculpted shape. Yeah, you just don't see meters that look like this. And uh, you know what? I kind of like it. The shape makes it comfortable to hold and to actually position that rotary switch. So Martindale was definitely thinking out of the box when they came up with this really cool new concept, multimeter design. Now the Martindale has a three and a half digit liquid crystal display, LCD. Maximum reading is about 2000 counts and it updates at a fairly impressive two and a half times per second. Utilizes one nine volt battery and has approximately 300 hours of battery life. Now this is a manual ranging meter for us manual meter heads. And as you can see, it is uh, quite verbose in terms of the selector switch. I like the fact that everything is very bright. You've got that yellow background with the black numerics, very easy on the eyes, unlike a lot of the new meters you see today, sometimes it's really hard to look at that selector switch. It all looks the same. Nice when you can see very good contrast and readability on something as important as the rotary selector switch. You put it side by side between a recently reviewed Mestec DM91A. You can see the actual uh, Mestec is bigger than the MM34. So yeah, the uh, 34 is quite a, uh, quite a small meter. Now it is on the chunky side, as you can see, you've got that ergol look there for your hands and the uh, there is no boot on the mm34 no this is strictly that hard housed plastic casing so you don't have that nice soft rubber boot like on a lot of the more uh, recent multimeters but that being said it does definitely do the job now when we turn on the martindale for the first time we do not have that annoying beep yes one of the few multimeters actually that I've come across that uh, older new that really doesn't have that uh, constant beeping every time you change ranges. And personally, I prefer it that way. Now there is no tilt stand with this Martindale, so I will be propping it up to uh, give us a better look at that display. Right now we are in DC accuracy mode with the precision voltage reference. I've got the Martindale MM34 hooked up and we should be looking at 0 0.250 volts, 250 millivolts, and hey, what do we see? Spot on, 250 millivolts. Now we should be looking at 2.50 volts. Here we go. Wow, 2.50 spot on. I am liking what I'm seeing. Good stuff, Martindale. Excellent. Alrighty, we're gonna start off with a DC voltage test. I've got three meters here lined up. The Winnipex ET8101, one of my favorite cheapos thus far. The Fluke 83 on the right, and the MM34 from Martindale. Star of the show in the middle. Starting off at 1.8 volts, and as you can see, they are all spot on. 1.885 for the Winnipex, 1.88 for the 34, and eight eight five for the 83 well that's a lot of eights okay here we go taking it up a notch we're gonna go up to a whopping 5.6 volts 5.66 for the 8101 5.67 for the 34 and 5.66 for the fluke 83 
which by the way was calibrated last year. Okay, up and away we go. All the way to a, let's go, let's settle at 16.7 volts. 16.82 for the Winnipeg, 16.87 for the Martindale, and 16.82 for the Fluke. Okay, we are gonna max these guys out. 31.6 volts now because we do have the lone manual ranging. We're gonna have to just bring it up a notch to the 200 mark. And sitting at 31.7 according to the power supply. 31.72 for the Win Apex, 31.8 for the Martindale, and 31.73 for the Fluke. So good stuff, boys. That was a trio of fun. And look at that Martindale. You know, it's so close to the recently calibrated Fluke. And of course, that Win Apex pretty well spot on the money. So hey, good stuff. In terms of DC voltage, the Martindale is doing excellent. Currently in milliamps, and right now the MM34 does have a 96, 95 milliamp reading spot on. Now the uh, MM34 is capable of a maximum of 200 milliamps. So we'll just take it up a little bit higher. Let us go to 150, 60, 70, 80, 190. And no worries there. We'll see if we can hit 200 spot on. We are over limit. Bring it back down to 190. And we are good to go. So that milliamp works just fine. Next up, a quick resistance test. I'm uh, just going to look at the low range. I have the uh, Fluke demo board out. We're just going to do a quick test. Now, I uh, do not have a rel feature on the meter, but we do have about 0.2 ohm offset and I do not uh, have the ability to rel that out so we'll just have to do the math and I tried to set a probe masters as well and it also came to the same offset in the leads so a little off in terms of the um, resistance but not to worry here we go 0.5 ohm resistor and let's do the math and it brings us to 0.5 ohm finally we'll check out the uh, diode just a quick Forward voltage drop, no worries there. And the Martindale MM34 does not do continuity. We're in diode mode now, and let's see how many LEDs the Martindale Electric MM34 can light up. Here we go. It is lighting it up, and we do have a forward voltage drop. We're trying out the yellow now, and dual success. On to the red LED. We have illumination in the nation along with that nice forward voltage drop. Let's move it down to the blue lagoon. Oh, look at that. Nice and illuminated, but we do not see that forward voltage drop on the display. Finally, the white LED. It is able to light it up. And once again, we do not have the uh, actual forward voltage drop being displayed. So in terms of illumination, we have a five for five and three out of five for the indicated voltage drop. So all in all, hey, pretty darn good. Diode output voltage is just over three volts for the MM34. Really nice feature with the MM34 is the fact that you do have your separate input jacks for the individual ranges. So we do have a separate microamp and milliamp jack for the low current as well as the separate high current jack for the 10 amps. Alrighty, so even with that small load on the battery, we are still showing over 9 volts. So we know that this Power Mitsubishi is doing good. Mitsubishi. Lastly, we're going to check the AC current. Should be looking at about 120 volts. Let us find out. I've got the selector into the 200 volt range on AC and looks good. Okay, next up, we're going to take this guy apart and see what it looks like on the inside. On the back of the Martindale, we have three screws, all Phillips, and uh, let's get started.
right away you can see that there is quite a difference compared to what we see on a lot of new multimeters. First of all, yeah, gotta love it. Look at that shielding. Oh my God, that is amazing. It looks fantastic. And they have this uh, nice heavy duty plexiglass style uh, translucent plastic cover that is covering a lot of the inside of the meter as well. If we flip it over, uh, we have no shielding on the other side, but once again, hey, it's already shielded. Now look at the size of those screws, nice and long. Uh, definitely not like you normally. Now this is a British company, Martindale, but as you can see, they do outsource, of course, like most companies these days. And this one was made in Taiwan. One of the really nice things about this um, translucent case holder, for instance, is if you do get a bad battery or your battery goes bad and it begins to leak all over the circuit board, yeah, it's a real mess to clean if indeed you can. Here, somebody really was using their brain and look at that. It can leak till high heaven and it still is not going to affect the circuit board. Yes, it's going to get onto the contacts here, but that can easily be removed. The circuit board at least is safe. Something else that's really nice is when the battery is inserted, it just stays there nice and solid. Look at that, no flopping around, no nine volt battery cables uh, loose and uh, wandering. Just really nice solid engineering. 10 amp 600 volt ceramic fuse and on the milliamp side uh, even though it's a 200 milliamp rating look at that they put in a really nice fast blow 500 milliamp fuse. The jacks themselves in there nice and solid I mean that is a really snug fit. They are of the split variety but no worries here and as well on the back of the chassis you do have those extended slots which are giving added back support to the jack inputs. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this beautiful translucent cover so we can get in a little bit deeper. Uh, another really nice touch is if you ever wanted to calibrate this meter you can actually access your trim pot right through that uh, translucent protector so uh, really nice good forward thinking good job Martindale so basically one screw at the bottom right here and then this whole top should just lift right off Wow beautiful so this is the front of the chassis, as you can see, and uh, really nice quality plastic here. Very, very uh, high grade, and uh, yeah, really nicely done. And once again, they've carried that translucent uh, protector over to the front of the PCB as well. Um, look at that, you know, absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I've seen this kind of a design uh, on a, any other multimeter. Um, very, very interesting. So at the bottom over here, there's a simple push tab and that released the bottom. And then here at the top, we have one tiny little Phillips, which I've just unscrewed and the top should come off. And there we go. So it just pops off, comes. Uh... So that's the cover with the shielding. Absolutely gorgeous shielding built into that translucent cover. Amazing stuff. And we still have the shielding on the other side, which has the rotary selector switch and the uh, display attached as well. Main I see is cobbed. I do not know what it is. It's, I'm thinking it might be a Cyrus tech, but I might be on the wrong page. If anybody knows, I'd love to uh, have that information. So don't be shy. Over here we have a, a four channel IEC, the HEF407BT. That selector switch has a really nice feel to it. It is, yeah, wow, love it, love it. And gorgeous looking tracks on there. Now I'm not gonna take this apart any further, but uh, suffice to say it looks definitely quality of logo. GR and CD-1. Or L, I'm gonna presume it's a one. But uh, once again, if anybody knows what that is uh, referring to, I'd love to hear about it. Overall, the fit and finish are absolutely gorgeous on this meter. A really nice thick PCB that they've used. Definitely more than one layer. 
and uh, just pull that up for you here. Um, yeah, nice thick PCB. So once again, that all helps with the longevity and the wear and tear of the meter. All right, I'm gonna put everything back together and come back with my closing thoughts. Final thoughts of the Martindale Electric MM34. Oh gosh, I want another one. Yeah, these things are just amazing. I just love this little multimeter. This thing just exudes quality and wow i'm so glad that uh, thanks again derek for sending this out this was a, a real treat let's wish it had that continuity feature oh that would have been so nice the mm34 gets a solid four out of five stars thanks for watching this review everybody it was a pleasure and there will be lots more of these viewer choice reviews and if you want to see something um, in particular if you have a meter that you'd really like me to take a look at hey that's what I'm here for till the next time keep on testing